for a second because um, uh, do you guys have anybody uh, that uh, any of your friends that have um, that were were formerly leftists and are now like they've left the left? Not that I can think of. If anything, people have been moving in the opposite direction, and I'm very happy about it. Brendan, Matt? Uh, no, zero. And no. friends being radicalized, which is... So know, they're going the opposite direction yeah. because... All right, well, that's good news because that means none of us here are in protection mode. At least that's according to Dr. Dave Rubin. <laughs> There's nothing to fear but fear itself. It's something like that, that we create these monsters. And then when you actually go ahead and, and do whatever you're supposed to do, you might step in the pool and be like, damn, I thought the water was going to be freezing, but it turns out it's 92. It's and, fresh. Yeah, yeah it's and nice. that's not to say it's going to be perfect, because trust me, it yeah, won't yeah. be. You will lose friends. I mean, we've all been through versions of this. Mm -hmm. People that you love will suddenly say the worst things about you. You'll watch. I'm seeing some of this now. I'm getting a lot of um, support from my sort of right-leaning friends. So, you know, Shapiro and mm -hmm. Peterson and Glenn Beck right and Dennis Prager, that crew. A lot of my, my lefty guys who have been with me all along the road have completely abandoned me wow. because they don't want to just deal with any of the backlash. And I also think this is a whole other topic, but I think that goes to a little bit of the lefty mind, which is in constant protection mode. Um, that's that's like sort of like a whole yeah. separate thing, but... Mm. So is he talking about like the Weinsteins? Like that the Weinstein guys? Or Sam Harris, maybe? He's been deserted by uh, the uh, all. Like, is that who he's talking about? Those are the only three I can name. Well, he's talking about lefties who have left him, right? Well, that's why I, I think that's what he's talking about. I think. I mean, his he, former friends from the Young Turks certainly. I I don't think that. He's oh, they're in total protection mode. They're in total yeah. protection. Mode. It couldn't possibly be because they just don't like you and they think you suck. Like it has to be some fear of like political cancellation, right? Right. I mean, Eric Weinstein's really uh, probably concerned about his lefty uh, bona fides. I wonder, Peter Thiel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, th I think he just took your job, Dave. Like he's the one that's a plausible moderate. You're on the blaze. <laughs> right. I, right. He's on the he's on the blaze, and I think part of it is also they realize like he's just not that bright. And oh yeah. He just cashed in. No. That's what's called. That's what protection mode is. When you, uh, when you, yeah, they're they're going to protect themselves from uh, the the um, I guess the guy that's ideas. Just not that right. It's distinct from recovery mode, and I'm not sure if you can get from uh, recovery mode to protection mode, or how exactly you transition between the different states of brain. As per Dave, Doctor Dave Rubin. What was that show that he was on? I believe it's on the sound sheet. It's uh, the school of greatness. Do you have to wear like the same thing as the host when you go on that show? Yes, that's part of uh, the uh, set requirements. That's weird. It's a, it's a union thing, I think. That's what we should do with the folks here. Hands. You come on the show, mustache only. I got plenty. 